<laughs> yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. Now, after the battle at the Spire, when you, you took off, you left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? Aaron, I left when I did, how I did, for a reason. A good one. Oh, well, thanks for sharing. Listen to me. Life on Earth is in danger, and only I can save it. What are you talking about? Exactly what I just said. Everything living is going to die unless I... fix a piece of technology created by the Old Ones. And time's running out. Well, I... Yeah, I guess that's the reason, all right? <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. Uh, errand! By the forge. Yeah, I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no, hey, you're, you're needed elsewhere, obviously. We'll make it without you. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Chain scraping it back to work now. I'll go give Olvent the good news. What he's to. Then, maybe this embassy can finally happen. Keep me awake. Time to get Elvin to blow the whistle, then Wadis to Baron Light. Still here, I see. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. <sighs> no, you blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay- Either you do it now or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather around. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated! Uh, you. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business! Terrific. Great. Yay. 
And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah! That's where I like it! Yeah! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Yeah! Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. Yeah, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. Outfits. Not only the good stuff for you, Red. Seeing as you've got that whistle blowing. Hey, I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days. You haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks, though, have you? Take your time. I promise you won't be disappointed. Come back anytime. Now can I get this fixed? I can fix your tools. Afraid there's no fixing you. <laughs> Armor is my trick. Ah, finally! The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when said... When I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay? Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. But... but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Light, Wadis. Like Aloy said, captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. done, the embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down Silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy a backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the don't some more first. And maybe take Petra up on that drink. No. 
know you see me. tribe can enjoy it. Ah, come to revel in some strike, sister? Let me set the board. I was just passing by. I... Mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set. A Tanakh original straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special if you win it on my boards, too. All right, let's start off simple. The Tanakhs like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine, and each machine is worth a different number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? That there, notes also tell you how far a piece can move, how powerful their attacks are, the distance they can strike from, and of course, their health. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm, and move it forward. And remember, each machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. Easy enough, huh? Now, you get to move two machines each round, so go ahead and pick a second machine. Perfect. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece close enough to attack one of my machines. When performing an attack, you'll be testing your machine's combat power against the opponent's. A machine's combat power is a combination of the terrain your machine is standing on and its own attack power. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's combat power. And your current machine has two points of attack power. So in total, your machine's combat power equals two points. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack power. And just so right now, the difference, this means your machine can do two points of damage to my machine. Did you get all that?
Knew you were a smart one. Finish up by attacking my machine. Not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab... See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. Try it out. Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Now some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. So use at your own discretion. Let's try doing that now so you can see what I mean. That's about it for your turn, then. Now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there, and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those, and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Now let that machine have it. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards towards my room. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But if you overcharge your machine, you can attack a second time. And by the look of your machine's health, you'd be sacrificing your piece to defeat mine. But sometimes, that can be a good thing. Overcharge your machine to attack mine a second time, and I'll show you what I mean. Ain't that a thrill? Now, because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're gonna receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. That's why sometimes losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor. Now, you'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time, but you did destroy all my pieces. That means you're the winner. That wasn't so hard, was it? Just remember to always check for the best terrain to attack from. You'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. I know it saved my behind in a game or two. I'll try and remember that. Oh, before I forget, these are all my spare pieces. I want the Savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. You might even fancy looking out for them strike carvers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn a game in your favor, though they'll need the right materials to craft you one. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. I know I've lost my fair share of pieces after a night of machine hunting or brew hopping. Oh, no need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. Now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. Thanks. I'll think about it. Let's play! Mm. 
them up. Your move, Red. machine left that ain't good time to make my move board's all yours I'm so surprised, huh? Good luck. Your turn. You're up, Red. Like you're that's the game. You up for a rematch? This is gonna be fun. My turn. That's it for me. Red. Ah, I was hoping you wouldn't do that. Ah, not that easy to get through my machine's armor, is it? Guess luck's not on your side today, Red. Come back anytime, Red. You knew you couldn't resist some good company. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. Ah. 
That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grading the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Shadow Carja refugees? What are they doing in the Daunt? Mm, looking for a new home, I gather. They're camped out by an old trailhead, southwest to here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Tallinn Clean Brokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Tallinn. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else? So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <sighs> You're a pig. Blasted things, those bristlebacks. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place working again. That put a dent in Olven's plans. Now, if only there were some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olven? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olven has taken to blaming the Karja for them. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the worker since the day he rolled into town. About that. I think the bristlebacks came out of Olven's old mine. <gasps> now there's a spark that could light a fire. Can you prove it? I'm working on it. By the forge. Grab my ear if you nail it down. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well... After the big battle at Meridian, I went back, but realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. What else can you tell me about the Shadow Carja refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Carja for one. At least, not anymore. They're some other brand. ...of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for... what, exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a Stormbird Heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan Clean Brokers ever lost sleep over any law breaking. So about Olvind? Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. Who is this Tolland clean broker? Just some chuff huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals in a campfire, those two. So Tolland works for Alvin? Ha! <laughs> Alvin might think so. But Tolland scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird Salvage. This concession decree. 
What is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osram municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the Magistrate will sign. Well, if I'm up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. Petra said Tallinn has a shop here in Chainscrape. Could have a word with him first. Hey, Ray. Fancy a game of strike? Faster. Machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A stormbird. Nailed it myself with a harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. That clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. So if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the Shadow Karja filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. I can get it for my stash later.
People are under attack. Hey! You up there! Aren't you gonna help? More machines on their way. I'll handle the rest. for the stash. Lie still. Is it bad, Lokasha? Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised. But not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure about that? We're no strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our sun priest. Our order has made it this far thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. You're Shadow Karja, aren't you? We are the Order of Twilight. The difference being... When the usurper Avad killed his father, we fled with the Karja in shadow to Sunfall. Our lives there were difficult. Savohar saw our misery, lifted us up, protected us from the corrupt priests and heartless Kestrels. When their rule ended, Savohar led us from the Shadowlands. The long night ends. And the setting sun will lead us to salvation, he said. And so he named us the Order of Twilight. 
We journeyed west in search of a better life. Why didn't you go back to Meridian? A bard is a patricide. We will not kneel to the likes of him. We must walk in twilight to our new home. Savohar will lead us there. Uh-huh. There's an Osaram in Chainscrape, Talland. He wants the Stormbird up there. Yes. He was here just yesterday. A very unpleasant man, even by Osaram standards. He made all manner of threats. But we will not be intimidated. That's all well and good, but he's got friends. Sooner or later, his whole gang will show up. Savohar will come through. He always does. We just need to give him more time. You're out of time, Lakasha. You need to consider packing up and- We won't leave him. And we won't let others disrupt his meditation. Well, they're going to try. Your priest, Savohar. You said he's been up there three days? His meditation can't be rushed. So he does this often? Meditating for days on end? Well, it doesn't usually take this long. But he will guide us through. He always has. We have faith. Sure, but shelter looks like a more pressing concern. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savohar and get out. Our situation. This is the worst we've endured. I know we cannot stay here, but without Savohar to guide us, I, I don't... Let me up there. And I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation... If he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days... Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. Let the Nora pass. <laughs> Looks like I should head up. We will guard the path until you return. She was right. The trail's in bad shape. This looks recent. Must have broken off when Savohar climbed up here. Let this stain my hands. I think I can reach those beams if I jump against the cliff.
Otter must have broken off after Savahar passed through. I need to find another way up. Okay, now how to climb higher? Take this to a dyer later. <sighs> Broken bridge. I might be able to make the jump to the other side. That's a lot of blood. Savoirs? There's the stormbird. Getting closer. Machines. Savahar must have snuck past them. I could probably slip past them. Or take them out. Okay, I think I'm in the clear. There's Savoir. I'm pretty bad shape. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even time. You must be Savahar. True son before me. Show me the way this even time. <laughs> I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. Oh, part of the ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the beacon. I just need to see the twilight path. My people will find their home. Listen, Lakasha is doing the best she can down there, but machine attacks, angry Osiram. 
The Order is scared, Savar. The last rays of eventide will burn away that fear. I don't think so. What do you think's gonna happen here? If you sit long enough, the sun will show you something? A path to a new home. A fallen machine can only mean that the storm has passed. <laughs> Salvation is a hand. Or some Osram shot it and it hit an old tower. You punctured a lung. You can't heal it with prayer. The sun will provide. <laughs> and I will not lose faith. I'd be more concerned about losing blood. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter, security. The true sun love me. The true sun for me. Show me the way this even time. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. The son of me. Gotta get over to that storm bird. Grab its heart. Stormbird heart is valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke and a prayer? Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? this. The Osram that was watching the refugees probably went to get Tolland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. <laughs> Looks like some kind of lens. Guess I'll keep it for later. There. The Order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes wouldn't hurt either. Savahar? How you holding up? I need to get back over there. Savar? I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. I should let Lakasha know. 
can give her the Stormbird Heart. 